All right, out here hunting today on Good Friday. Just lucky enough to get off. Got my little plug there I just dug. And I think I got, it looks like a rosette. It uh, definitely is heavy. Um, looks like it might have a hole in it. it definitely got some, uh, it's definitely brass. I see a little gold on it. I don't know what's under it yet. But um, I think I just dug a, uh, yeah, it's got a hole. Yeah, looks like a rosette to me. Come off a, a saddle. Pretty cool. First digs of the day. Besides some uh, camp lead and uh, a few uh, buttons that are kind of messed up. Uh, but anyway, just starting out. We're going to see what else we can find today out here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful day. All right, down here hunting. Just found a uh, rosette. Or what looks like a rosette anyway. And I know what this is. Just found my uh, first three ringer. Looks like it could have been uh, fired, I don't know. Um, but definitely a, uh, a nice three ringer. So, looks like about a 58. So, I'm gonna keep on looking out here hunting with uh, a new guy today. His name is Terrell Roddy. He uh, is a uh, young guy that's interested in getting in the hobby and he's out here using my um tesoro silver saber and uh he's already found a few things and uh, i think he's getting excited so uh hope he finds something really good so we'll, we'll see here soon and i'll uh, see what happens uh, i'm gonna cover this plug and uh we'll look for something else Alright, LA Relic kind of here, uh, cherry picking the fields, just got a uh, eagle bud, and uh, pretty nice, got to clean her up, but um, a lot of uh, history out here in these fields alongside the uh, Mississippi, found a lot of eagle buttons, a lot of bullets, and a uh, few plates here and there but uh and a lot of silver so hopefully today we'll get into some silver or plates or something really cool but so far i got what looks to be a rosette a bullet and this and a bunch of other things uh actually a couple of wheaties pennies which probably farmers dropped so anyway we'll uh we'll clean this one up and see what's on it and and uh, get back with you. LA Relic Hunter. Having fun. Good Friday. Alright, down here digging. And it's always fun to dig one of these. I'm sure everybody's dug one. It's a uh, US lock. Just kind of cool how it says US on it. But anyway. Hey, keep on digging, man. Finding some nice big brass targets out here, so tells me I hadn't been hunted that much. So let's see what else we can find. Looking good. All right, LA Relic Hunters. Me and uh, Terrell out here hunting. Terrell has found his first really period item uh, coin, and what he's found is a large scent. It has a hole in it. I'm just going to hold it too so I can focus on it. And uh, it is definitely beautiful. It says one cent has the ridges. And on the other side it has the bus with the stars. And uh, we, we try to get a date off of it. We don't want to clean on it too hard out here. But what we're thinking is uh, 1833 or 1838. So somebody was wearing this back in the day, huh, Terrell? That's awesome. Is this a cool find <laughs> from Mr. Awesome. Terrell? <laughs> that is awesome. Now, do you like relic hunting? I love it. 
You love relic hunting? You going to get a metal detector now? Absolutely. Got to save some money. <laughs> All right. Here you go, man. Thank, Thank you. Your first uh, really period find, man. I mean, that's that's cool. better than finding a bullet uh, button in my mind. That, that's that's cool. A large scent is great. A lot of guys look for them, and, uh, and they're not easy to find. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll clean her up better later, but uh, we got still half a day to hunt, so we're going to hunt some more. Awesome. Here's a good one. Just uh, laying around. Play marble. Pretty one too. Got a little orange, orangey coloring in it. But another marble. Boy, we're just finding some really neat stuff today. Great day. It's getting a little hot though. We're gonna keep on digging. After that large scent, we're all fired up and ready for round two to see what we can find. All right, out here hunting. Getting toward the end of the day. I think I got my first silver. Pulled it out of here. It's breaking apart a clump and I can see the edges. Edges right here. Let me get focused down. Right here. And it's big silver. I'm gonna get it out of there. Oh yeah. Oh shit, it's a real. Excuse my language. It's it's a real. Holy moly. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me sit this down for a second. Um, I need to get my glasses on. Oh God, this is a nice one. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want to rub on it. I ain't even gonna rub it on it anymore. It, it's like full of tarnish. Um, we got a date, eighteen something, eighteen. Shoot, I can't see. 18, 1801. Eight, 1. Oh my God. Look how big it is. It's like two fingers big. I don't know. Oh my God. I'm going to get, get it back to the truck, clean it up. Hey, Terrell. I found some silver. You need to come see this. This is just amazing. To be in the ground that long in a place that, that I've hunted in for so long. And uh, I'm still pulling relics out today. We pulled eagle buttons out, large scents out from 1838, I believe. Now we got an 1801. Um, bullets, uh, just different. This is just nuts. Oh boy, this made my day. This made my day. I like silver coins. Come check this out 1801. Dime? No, a little bit bigger than a dime. Uh -oh. And, uh, it's not even American currency. Really? Yeah. You can finish knocking some of the dirt off of it. Check this baby out. Got some tarnish on it. <laughs> oh, Check that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. 1801. 1801. I know, it is insane. <laughs> <laughs>
Where's right, it from? Look, right here in this clod, bro, in the middle of it, in this row. It's uh, it's either well, you they made them in Spain, um, they made them in Peru, um, different place, Mexico, but this is not a Mexican one. I don't know. It might be Peru. First silver. Not of the day? really sure. It could be Spanish. Yeah, first silver of the day. Awesome. That is pretty sweet. Well, we're gonna keep going. Did you find out? Find anything else down there? A small button. I can't tell what it is. It's Let's definitely see. Definitely not a. I'm gonna put this in my pocket somewhere where I ain't gonna lose it. I ain't putting it in there. I got keys in there. Oh my goodness. Talk about exciting. Okay. Oh wow. It does and it has a shank on it. Oh good find. What's on the front of it? Is oh, it a here, hold, hold the camera and uh, let's, let me get this brush on. Let's see. We just take a little brush in because it looks like it might be an eagle on it. Might be an Andrew Jackson era button. Oh, it's definitely got something on it. Um, let's see. Man, that's a good find, dude. Anytime you find a uh, button and it's got the shank on it, you're really doing well. I found one earlier, a green patina one, but I think it's just a regular flat button. And it didn't even have anything on it. We're going to have to clean it up better, but there's something on here. I don't know what it is, but there's something on it. Hey, excellent find. That is great, man. Great. You having fun, man? Oh, it's yeah. cool, huh? Yeah, Great. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> Silver and and buttons and all kinds of stuff coming out of this old place. So we'll get back with y'all in a few. All right. Another find, got a uh, V-nickel. I've been uh, scrubbing on it with a toothbrush, uh, light bristle brush, just try to see what it was. I thought it was a penny at first, but it was a little bit too big. Then I thought it was a buffalo nickel, but I saw stars on it. And once I saw the stars, I knew I either had you know, a shield or a, a V-nickel, but so it happens it's it's a V. So ah, another coin. We'll take it. Alright. This is a first for out here for me. This is a big boy. This is a, a 58 caliber. This is a big bullet. Um that's some serious size of this lead. Anyway, um, it, it may have been fired, but it may have got dropped, but it's definitely been pushed in a little bit in the bottom. Um, still a bullet though. I'll take it. A 68 all day long. All right. Still out here hunting. Another three ringer. This one looks like it got fired. Now we're at a different location. But uh, we're hunting right at a uh, skirmish site. So probably going to find a few bullets before we go home for the night. Anyway, another dig. Here, take this thing here. Set that thing there. Try this thing out, Carol. See if you can get a reading with it with that. Go back over to the area. Right there. That sounds like a bullet. Up a little higher. I think, yeah, I think we were just off a little bit. That's probably why you couldn't hear it. Good chance it might be in that. 
Oh yeah. The sweet sound of nectar. Hang <laughs> it down with the pinpoint on the thing. Something. Uh oh, what do you got? Oh man. What is that? It looks old. I'll have to look at it for a second, but you know what you got? Oh my god, let me see this for a second. I'm fixing to tell you. This is, uh, <laughs> I think I thought it was a, well, I thought it was a tongue to a, uh, and it may be. It, it looks like a tongue to a uh, two-piece uh, buckle. I don't know, but I like it. Uh, just hold on to it, and we're going to clean it up because we are definitely in a battle zone. Um, yeah, it's, it's folded right here, and yeah that that was some type of uh tongue for a two-piece with a reef wow congratulations dude. Hey. That, that's a buckle man it up. oh hell yeah man that's what i'm talking about all right well let's find something else all right out here hunting just found another uh confederate round ball hunting a little skirmish site well actually a battle site Starting to find bullets. End of the day, that's usually how it works. Anyway, I think I think Terrell's on one now, so we're gonna we're gonna dig it next. Hope everybody enjoyed the hunt, man. It is really my pleasure to bring people, new people out, and enjoy the hobby. Terrell had never touched a metal detector before today and i lent him my silver saber and he actually had some great luck he found a large scent from 1838 he also found a beautiful star button and uh that i've never seen one like it but it's very nice and uh we found a lot of bullets and a lot of uh other things and uh if you ever get a chance and uh, you got somebody that's interested in the hobby, you need to take them out and uh, show them how it's done. Um, I know I enjoy it. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Today was a great day.